What is going on guys? My name is Sir JB Gaming. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Really quick, I want to give some context of why this video was even made in the first place because it's not really my, you know, sense of content that I do. So I was streaming Destiny 2 a couple days ago and we got in the talks of the Modern Warfare 2 Worldwide Reveal coming out today as this video comes out. And uh, someone in my chat, a very well-known community member, Jinx, asked, why don't you do a tier list of all of the Call of Duties, your opinions, and uh, let's let's see what you got. So basically myself and my longtime best friend who I grew up playing Call of Duty with all the time, Fig, we decided to rate all of the Call of Duties together literally simultaneously. So this is us kind of rating all the Call of Duties together and, and, and hearing each other's reactions because we didn't see each other do one of the other's charts. I, like I did mine and then I told him what mine was and vice versa. So it was really interesting to see the reactions and why we, why we put certain Call of Duties on tier and why we did certain, certain Call of Duty's in certain tiers. If you do like this content, let me know by dropping a like and commenting down below what else we should rate together. Because I honestly had a lot of fun doing this and I think doing it live gave a lot more insight because we had people chatting and talking about it. So it was really interesting to see. So hope you guys do enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, well, we start with... All right, so I have Modern Warfare as my first one. My, like, one? Like the new one, the 2019 one. Okay, I liked it. Only, the only things I didn't really like about it and i didn't get in and we or re, we really didn't get into it until a couple seasons afterwards but i liked that the only thing and i was talking about this earlier while i was muted the only thing that killed this game for me no fov there was no fov and whenever now and this was like one of the first games that introduced cross and cross play so when you're going when you're playing against pc players that have fov and have the extra range yeah. you're, you're at a disadvantage bullshit and the fact of warzone made it insanely sweaty with that being said though I'm not judging the player base. I'm just judging the game. Right. I, I, uh, hmm. We're just, we're, what, th we're going to three, two, one, and then say what we put it at. All right. Okay. I got it. All right. Three, two, one. B. B. Okay. All right. All right. Good. Good. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Cool. So yeah, we're, we're not know, at each other's throats just like... yet. All right. Uh, infinite warfare. <laughs> okay. So, so this is one of those games where oh, I rarely yeah. played it because I just it was it was in that era of of the whole like boosting jumping mechanic. Mm -hmm. But in my honest to god opinion, and and this is such a hot take, I this was the worst boosting game ever. Like I preferred Advanced Warfare's boosting because it wasn't it wasn't a it, like something about Infinite Warfare. It wasn't fast and it wasn't slow. It was in that sweet spot to where like pretty much if you jumped up and and you were in the air, you were dead like there was no stopping it then so it's so mine's just similar tough. but not quite i didn't like advanced warfare it was too fast like the the dodging no left chance. and right up it was way too fucking much yeah. this one felt like too little where black ops four three three felt perfect so with, with that being said the thing is like i just i never played it enough now now now, now, Jinx, you do have a good point. He asked, "Does a single can a single game mode carry the entire game?" And I said, "No." I will say this because you know we just talked about multiplayer essentially, and, and same with like Modern Warfare. Like, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't replace Spec Ops really. I mainly played the multiplayer. The campaign was phenomenal. With Infinite Warfare, I didn't mind the zombies. The only thing that I didn't like the zombies was how long it took me to get one fucking trophy in that game. And it's just mm. campaign. I love the campaign. It, it, it was a good campaign. And then zombies, you know, it wasn't like my favorite. It felt really weird. But if you were into that, it was well done so with that being said all right three, three two one c d wait b wait d boy or dog dog okay thank you <laughs> that's all i see it, ba it bounces between c and d for me that's that's the i yeah i like i wanted to put it in c but like <sighs> i put it in c because the way i'm looking at it is each call of duty has like three different playable modes and i liked two out of three for this and then multiplayer was kind of iffy. This is, it's a tough I one like because it, it goes between C and D. Yeah, see, like, I didn't like multiplayer, like, at all. The story was great and zombies was all right. All right, what's next? Uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. So, this one's a little tough for me because we were so young. Okay, so, you played it, you played it more than me. Yeah, I, I, I played, okay, so here, here's the thing. And then this, this needs to be said, and I think we need to figure this out, which one we're going to do. Are we doing the original or are we doing the remaster? I feel like you can kind of take both in, into consideration. Uh, yeah, but the, but the thing the is with the remaster, thing. they did like events and stuff within the multiplayer and whatnot. This is where it's going to get different because you're right. I played this game. Like I, I played it as a kid. It, was, it wasn't my first, but I, I, went, here, I, I had to go the back other and thing, play it. Before we even get to the ones that are iconic, <laughs> we can't. Nostalgia is not allowed to be a factor. We're talking about the core game itself. Yeah. With this one, it had it had Spec Ops, it had campaign, it had multiplayer. And this Did is it the, have mission like Spec Ops missions? Yeah. Uh, remember the okay. plane one? I thought. Yeah, yeah that's right. Through the plane. <laughs> yeah. 
Tilde's getting uh, flashbacks well, from that. Put an F tier immediately. Wait. Okay, ready? Yep. All right, three, two, one, S. B. B, okay, that's fair. Bruh. S? You really I, S? It bounces between S and A. Because I personally, the story, the, okay, so for me, the story was great. It set up. The story's you, amazing. It, it set up everything for the, for the iconic games that we, that we know and love. And it's still, you know, be, the story being told. Mm -hmm. I personally loved Modern Warfare's multiplayer. Like if, if, if it was remastered again, I'd play it all over again. I would continue, I would grind it out. I loved that multiplayer so much. I don't know what it was about it. It was so basic. It was so simple. And especially when it got remastered, it just, ah, oh, it made it so much better. So See, it, I, 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 if anything, I'd say it's on the low end of my S tier, and but on the higher end of my A tier. <laughs> okay, next is uh, Modern Warfare 3. It's just like Infinite Warfare. It's one of those games I barely played. The only thing I ever truly remember playing in Modern Warfare 3 is Infected, because I believe that's like when Infected was like really big. The multiplayer was good. It reminded me a lot of Modern Warfare, Call of Duty, like Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. It reminded yeah. me a lot of that. Yeah, it reminded me a lot of MW2. Yeah, I'm the just, spec just ops was that. good. It was the first one that had both spec ops mission. I'm pretty sure I had spec ops missions, and it had survival, which was new yes, and unique. yes, it did. I because yeah, I remember you you and me split screen survival so fucking much as kids. The multiplayer, I hadn't like, played I, enough I, of it. Low key, I hated on Modern Warfare Three so much at the time, mm -hmm. but looking back, like it was not that bad. It was no. actually pretty good. It, it was a the good multiplayer game. was pretty good. I it, they weren't my favorite weapons. It felt a little off, mm -hmm. and I wasn't a fan of like kind of the way the score streak stuff worked, but. The story was phenomenal. Then there's the campaign, and the campaign was just mm, that I shit hit. Play. That shit hit different, especially the ending. Yep. Mm, <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. All right, you got it down. Three, two, one, B, A. I almost put it in A. I jit. So my my thing is, I I was looking at it, and I was like, okay, is it an A? I, I, the only reason I don't put it in A is because I didn't play enough multiplayer. Yeah, see. But it is it is it is it, it, it is above Modern Warfare on the B side. All right, next one, Black Ops Two. Shit, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say <laughs> done. <laughs> Um, do, do, do we even nothing. need to say it? Do we even need it, to do this whole countdown? You can chop all this nostalgia out of my body. Nothing. Campaign. Nothing Best will campaign ever beat Black Ops Two. Multiplayer. Perfect. Perfection. Mm -hmm. Zombies. Per near perfect. Why well, do you say near perfect? I gotta I gotta ask that. Well, because whenever Black Ops 3 comes up, it literally Black Ops 3 zombies is like that, but with just a little bit more kick. That's why I said that. Black Ops 2 had to be the Call of Duty that I I, I, I played the most. It's the whole meme of, you know, going to sleep and waking up to the, the menu music. Oh no, that shit wasn't a meme. Yeah, that, that shit was real. That shit <laughs> that, was real life. That shit bro. was I real. Pristine, diamond every weapon diamond every new weapon that came out spent those dollar packs on every single one eat every single easter egg for the zombies it was perfection the story in zombies was amazing the feel of it was amazing mm -hmm. fucking multiplayer the weapons were great the maps were amazing it was bright vibrant fun score streaks were sick it was perfection that that's all it was like like it really it truly if you if you stripped it all and i mean it, i'm gonna go ahead and spoil it right now nothing's gonna be black ops 2 like plain and simple that's no, the game i, no, I invested the most time one. into is the game that i love the most i even bought it on xbox just to restart it all over again and feel the, the get the feeling of being a new player in that game again like that that is literally where it went like that, that's how bad it was all right we gotta move on because we're, too, we're gonna take too long talking about how good this is the next one jesus christ this is where we're gonna get hostile advanced warfare now i already know the opinions on the multiplayer we've been over this all right he, he, here's the thing and let, let's let's Way break it jittery. down okay i get the whole jittery feeling because of the whole mechanic moving system because th this was the first this was the first call of duty that had the new movement system right mm -hmm. right so it 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 was rough for everybody it was it was difficult at times but to me, since I played it a lot more, I got the hang of it. Dude. What I remember was the f***ing match starting, and within three seconds, people were Oh yeah, on it, the it, like, it was. You were on the other side of the map. It was, it was quick. Obnoxious. And I love quick pace. Like, I, like that's what f***ing Treyarch pretty much is. Oh, yeah. I love quick pace. I love small maps. But that was obnoxious. After getting used to it, it was bearable enough to where I still can play it. Especially because that was around a time where, like, I feel like we were just kind of mustering that the Call of Duties at this point, and, like, we, we weren't fully giving 
it up because we loved it so much and we were trying to hold out for it and and mm -hmm. this is kind of where it started to fall now outside of multiplayer because we're not just looking at multiplayer i love the campaign i love the cameos within the campaign i i, I think i think the campaign in this was was way better than a good chunk of these call of duty campaigns in my opinion it, it told a good story it it, it just had a lot involved in it and again it, it could just be the whole you know the new system and the new way that the campaign could have been played that it it just hit just kind of hit a little differently for me and then the, the zombies i truly didn't have a problem with the zombies in this one i think I, 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 th I think the only part that i, I would like complain the fact of boost jumping in zombies it just it felt like yeah whack but yeah, but like was... but but like the st i love the story because again the cameos in it um oh, bruce campbell was in it and that that for me i was like holy shit i love bruce campbell and the fact that he was in this game made me so much happier but i can't just go off yeah. of that all right three two one d, d. okay so yeah it's 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 right I'm, there i'm surprised you put it at d <sighs> okay <laughs> i would have put it at f if yeah. it wasn't for the story yeah but it's still behind infinite warfare for me because yep as good as the story was like the i i, I got more connected to characters yeah. in infinite warfare the robot dude yeah. than i did in like it felt cool it was good but i got more connected in the story in infinite warfare yeah this is gonna be hard this next one call of duty ghost the quote on quote start of the downfall of the call of duty call of duty ghosts i think this was the first one where skill-based matchmaking started i don't i don't think i don't know if that's true or not but i feel like that this is where skill-based matchmaking started campaign i like the campaign i think it was good fucking love the dog uh Riley. i love the campaign yeah i love the campaign the thing that pisses me off is that we are still the on a cliffhanger, cliffhanger. Yeah, I'm yep. this, dude and no one's they're never gonna do a fucking ghost too and it pisses me off the yeah. campaign no, was I good. I love the campaign. The campaign was fucking great. It, it was super fun to play. The multiplayer, I huh. So this is where it's hard because, and this is one of those things where it's, again, it's. I feel like it's a hot take. I did not hate the multiplayer like everybody else did. Everybody shit yeah. on this multiplayer. I loved it. I love the multiplayer. I, I love the. It. I love the cameos. The fact that I could can play as Snoop Dogg. Are you shitting Dude, my fuck dick? Yeah. Dude, that's the maps nuts. were pretty large. They were a little. Uh, it felt a little slow in that terms. Yeah. But the weapons and the gameplay. Oh yeah. Felt fucking great. I I feel like this is where we start to separate a little bit. I didn't like Extinction. I I just did not like Extinction at all. That is definitely where we separate because I liked Extinction. I thought it was it was it's. I'll, I'll give it. It was something different, and it was it was like at, at first it was something that was like cool. I was like, oh, like this this is dope. Like this is different. Overall, I wasn't a fan. In my eyes, is the best thing besides Treyarch. It is the second behind Treyarch Zombies. Just Treyarch Zombies as a whole, and then taking all other Spec Ops, Survival, other uh, Zombies. See, other I games. I would put Survival Number over. Two. I'd put Survival over Extinction, and, and I guess in that sense, in like comparing it all the other ones, I don't know. I guess extinction would be three. It's not. It's not like I completely hated it. I didn't like full like, on I, hated I just, it. Like I wish. Do do I wish there was like a survival aspect rather than playing through like the because it's like a mission. Once you beat it, you beat it, and like that's yeah. the end. But like you could like it, it was just like it was so fun. It was so different. I love the challenges in it and getting your money and buying things. Oh yeah, it, it was different. And it was, it was challenging cool. as hell. It was not easy at all. Right, and and I think that's that may just be like why I didn't like it too much. Is it was too it was too challenging for me. I was fucking shit at extinction. I remember going oh, dude, I was, and I, I, I'm, 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 I'm excluding the it. whole trophy experience with it too three yeah. two one a a okay so almost almost s not, not it, it, to me it's in the middle to bottom of a for just, me just, it just is because extinction i already know where i'm putting this next one to be honest with you i already know what's, and what's the next one uh call of duty world war ii i already have a place for this one and i already feel the damn controversy for it okay story i love i really did like the story in this one i think it was i think yeah, it, was it was great unique. i like the healing as painful as it might have been the story felt really good it felt like as much as i love call of duty war at war like the the original first like yeah. before black ops one like that one felt war of war two felt more like a world story than call of duty war at war did for some it just like felt more war like uh, i i kind of see where you go with that because like what a war from like Triarch felt like you were like a special spec ops person where World War II felt like you were truly just a standard old soldier on the front line. Yeah, okay, I, I, I see what you're saying with that. I That's why I felt more like real in I, that term. I, I can see that aspect. 
But to me, I personally liked World at War's campaign more than World War Two. If we're comparing those two, like you know, com being in the World I mean, War Two era, like a, it, for me, it's like a tough comparison. But like, in just looking at it in the terms of like feeling like yeah. a true war, if it, it yeah. gave me that vibe a lot. No, I, I understand that completely. So I like the campaign. I, I like the new mechanics that added with all the healing system. Obviously, I say that until like you know we actually had to start going for trophies and shit. That was unbearable. I'm the multiplayer <laughs> and how all that was structured. Oh my god. And it goes also because I played it recently, like less than a year ago. I mm -hmm. loved the multiplayer. I loved yeah. the structure. I, I I loved it too. I it, it, I, I'm, I hit massive prestige in that game. Oh like, yeah. Like and I'm pretty sure I got. Uh, yeah, no, I know I got platinum weapons, which is like the diamond of that yeah. game. So I I like, love that. It was it was it was great. Like I I I didn't really ever see a problem. The, the maps felt the good. Yeah, the customization. The weapons were fun was fun yeah. the the whole hq and being able to 1v1 your friends okay and, no, the, and then fun. and then the last thing was zombies we didn't go past the second map regarding easter eggs i don't think because yeah the, i remember we, just we stopped. played like a little the third and i don't think we ever touched the fourth no and but but still even like that first zombies map it was it, scary it was scary it, like that that to me like, was what zombie what world war was zombies was map. as a kid so i have it placed and we're gonna talk about it because and and, uh, and it really boils down to the explanation of and, and it just makes sense three two one a a yeah so but but here's the thing it was in b no. and i moved it up to a yeah it, it, it was in b it was between mw3 and modern warfare but then i realized okay i liked it you know overall as a game i liked it more than both of those here's exactly. where it's different and i'm gonna guess for you ghost is above world war ii right of course okay see it's flip-flop for me and i think it's because i enjoyed the zombies more than you but you enjoyed extinction more than yeah me. so that's but the, I, yeah I, that's, I, that's why that's what the way it is for me uh all right black ops 4 I'm gonna say this, but then I'm gonna explain it. There was no real campaign. There was no, no section to go to campaign. None. There was none of that. There uh, was just those like weird little things. Which, which were cool, I guess. Like they, they weren't like, like, oh my God, this is terrible. Or like, oh my God, this is great. They were, they were meh. Basically in this game, we are replacing campaign with blackout. Ooh, <laughs> shit dog. That, yup. I already know where this one's going. <laughs> <laughs> so zombies i you know with any track zombies i enjoyed it was it the best one no i'd probably put it i don't know i'd say probably black ops 2 yeah no it's probably like the bottom that doesn't mean it's bad it was still good not everything flowed as well like i still enjoyed it i played it a lot like the easter eggs were fun they were hard as fuck. obviously you know voyage there was nine <laughs> you know and then there's multiplayer and multiplayer you know i still enjoyed it i think i still hit master prestige and all that shit all right you ready? Right. you ready? i was gonna say you ready to just get on why on wheel this shit three two one c hey really c okay so here's the thing i almost put it in b and 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 i'm bouncing between b and c like th i think i think i'm struggling more with this one and i, I look at it like this and, and i think the biggest reason why i put it lower is because i'm taking in the fact there was no campaign and to me that's a big thing in call of duty I and they mean, took yeah. that shit out and i was mad about it and i and then they gave us that old shit and like i said it wasn't bad but it wasn't good okay yeah. uh okay jesus this this is easy but tough at the same time call of duty black ops one Three, two, one, S. S. It, it's S2. It's behind Black Ops 2, but it's hey. in front of Modern War the original Modern Warfare for me. It's in front of that. Yeah, uh, obviously I have that one down at B. So uh, yeah, for me it's just Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1. The the campaign yeah, campaign phenomenal. Nothing. It, it, phenomenal. It's it, fucking amazing. Th this was the time where it was just so fucking good, and the whole numbers, the the uh, the Nova Six, uh, yeah. learning all these people, but, Woods, Bowman, the, the, dude, it was great. The campaign in Black Ops One is better than Black Ops Two. Yes. Period. But the multiplayer and zombies in Black Ops Two is better than Black Ops One, which is why it's so. Bad. So I put it like this: Zombies is tough for me. It really is tough for me because I have so many core memories in Bo One. Oh, zombies. dude, same. I remember those. I I, I, too. I would put both of zombies are, are are evened out for me. They really really are. Yeah, I would. Pr I, you know, pr probably same. But with too. but with this statement, it, to me, it's it's the truest statement regarding the the, multi the difference between the two. Black Ops One multiplayer walked so that Bo Two multiplayer could run, and exactly. that's just it. Was it. great. 
but it was the true bare bones. It was the structure for what Black Ops 2 if, was able to become. And, and put it like this, if we didn't have BO1 multiplayer, we would not have had a good BO2 multiplayer. Plain and simple. Black Ops 3. Ah, uh, dude. A easy tier placement for me. I think so, but I don't know. Three, two, one, S. Hey. Okay. Damn. So it's tough for me because if, if we didn't include Chronicles, I would have put it in A. But yeah. I, I still feel I like mean, with Chronicles, yes, we didn't. I know we can't judge the math. So the fact that like that was that happened, you know, it, it still happened and I'm not going to ignore it. The other thing, oh my God, I can't believe we didn't even factor into this. I know we didn't play it as much, but the zombies campaign, the fact that you could do campaign in zombies format. Oh, yeah. And the other thing, because and, and, and this was a huge the reason why I still kind of like Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3 Supply Drops did it right. They absolutely did it right. There was yeah, there was no absolutely. better weapon. It was cosmetics. And you could get them by grinding out crypto keys. It was great, mm -hmm. dude. It, it, it was one of those things yep. to where when they took that feature and out, I was pissed. I wish they I wish they would have done it sooner, but when they started bringing in a million fucking weapons into yes, the game, like new weapons, it was just so they good. Added, they added, then also on top of that, again, I wish they did it sooner, kind of mad. It was like literally like towards the end of its life cycle, but they added those huge contracts yep. where you could get guaranteed new weapons. Yep. And even to the point where there was ones where you could pick exactly which oh, yeah. weapon you wanted. Oh, yeah. All right, next one. Jesus, I... I... I know what tier, just got to figure out placement. Modern Warfare 2. So with that being said, we're an S, right? Yeah, we're an S tier, but where, <laughs> oh where in S tier are you? So for me, it is third behind Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1. Okay, we. Are, so I put it in second because this so. was this was the Call of Duty that i that's where we truly started where, yeah where you high. and i started it's not where i started but, but like where that's where our but but I, I i think core memory wise for me mono warfare 2 because <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's 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 Road Rash, dude, and we're gonna show you some <laughs> tips and tricks on Mono Warfare 2. The, the core memories alone. Oh no, no, you for, wait, you forgot the part about a minute in. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, fucking yes, Dylan memories. ripping ass on that <laughs> leather yeah, ass couch, ass dude. Right that, that leather couch did just not do it for you either. <laughs> Okay, that was disgusting. <laughs> oh, that was great, dude. Oh, oh, like, the, the, like, okay, again, it's it's different for me because Modern Warfare 2 is where I started doing YouTube, and it's it's where it's it's just where it's where the dream started. So speaking on the actual game campaign, I would literally say best campaign in existence, but right next to Black Ops One. Oh, yeah. Black Ops Two is great, but literally my MW Two and Black Ops One campaigns top two ever. Oh yeah. I, I would almost go as far as saying MW Two campaign is better than Black Ops one but the whole numbers i, I don't think yeah. you can beat it i numbers the numbers from black ops one were just too fucking good multiplayer the weapons the builds the scores the, the kill streaks it, everything about it yeah was like so simplistic but perfect every it, you could use any weapon in that game and go off yeah not not every only that it, it, it's it's iconic and as scary as the sound was it was the best feeling and the, and the best and worst sound to hear someone come over the comm and scream enemy has a one thirty above it was the best fucking thing ever and then the spec ops like i could play those missions all day they were just so fun so i think this is this, this next one's gonna be fucking different for us call of duty world at war this was uh -huh. the very first Call of Duty I ever played. I remember being at my dad's house in my stepbrother's room in the basement, turning off all the lights and playing World at War Zombies. This is where it started for me in Call of Duty. I loved World at War. I, I thought that I thought the campaign was good and, and it, it was weird to uh -huh. bounce back and forth, but I still think the story alone was good between everything. It's where the iconic characters met, the multiplayer uh -huh. for its time. And then the, the biggest thing for me at World at War, again, it's just where I started, the zombies. This, this is where iconic zombies started. And it's yeah, just like... so good. I don't think you, you didn't play it until Platinum, until we started Platinum in CODs, am I right? Yeah, which was, right. I mean, which was pretty, I probably played it, because, like, I didn't play it originally, because, like, MW2 was really the first COD I played, because my brother got it, but then right. I went back and played the other ones. So it's like, I didn't get the Prime at the time multiplayer, so it's really kind of hard for me to judge. I, I got Prime... I, I, I can't say Prime because I guess whenever, you know, we started playing Modern Warfare 2. But I, I remember going back and playing World at War more. Yeah. More than, than you, obviously. Three, 
two, one, S. B. Top of B. That's fair. That, Maybe bottom of for, A. For you, that's fair. That That is extremely yeah. fair. Yeah, for me, Cold World at War is fourth best Call of Duty. It is a fucking toss up with Modern Warfare to me. I'm assuming you're saying this next one is Cold War. Yeah, we can go ahead and move Vanguard to okay. F. <laughs> Yeah, let's just go over Vanguard. Right <laughs> Don't now. worry, dog. It's, it's already there. <laughs> because, yeah, I mean, literally, like, we, bro, we, fucking... we ain't even got to talk okay. about it. It's just shit. Let, let's just try to talk about it. Zombies, shit. non-existent. There is no zombies. It's fucking dog shit. It's like, I don't even know what the fuck that's supposed to be. Like, what the fuck happened to fucking World War II zombies? <laughs> what the fuck? Multiplayer. I don't even know what they were just trying to do. They were trying to be unique, but, like, don't. <laughs> Go and get the creative team. Listen, you're trying to be unique. I get that. Don't. The campaign was pretty good. The best thing about Vanguard was the campaign. That's that's just what it is. All right. So, chat, this is where we're going to fight because I know no one likes Cold War. Here's the thing. <laughs> I, I did loved cold war to me cold war revived so much of my call of duty likeness especially in the trend that it went modern warfare was kind of it was to me it, it was good but it was meh in the feeling the way they did the campaign was creative as, as and like when i like obviously i just told vanguard to not be creative if you're gonna be creative do it like they did multiplayer actually really good then there's zombies which god damn i love spectacular. that it was like what Black Ops 4 wanted to be. It was like they went from Black Ops 2, which was amazing. Black Ops 3, that extra little bit. And then Black Ops 4 happened, which was like concerning. All right, well, I can already say we're, we're in S tier. We're both there. Yeah, we're in S tier. Where'd you put it in S tier? It's between fourth and fifth. I put it fourth, and I fought with that in World at War. I really fought with it. All right, well, there you go, that's chat. What, that's what I have This is like the Liz going to be a difficult ass video to edit this is gonna be great can't <laughs> wait to see the like and dislike ratio the comments and be like i can't believe you put cold war in yes tier it's a dog shit game modern warfare should have been in yes tier vanguard's pretty good too you have something above advanced warfare or below but advanced warfare i'll be fucking eight year old you're not even old enough to play this game <laughs>